video is on solving rational equations by clearing the denominator. So we are going to find a number such that when you multiply every term in the equation, the fractions will cancel out. So the first step is you're going to look at the denominators. And you're going to find what number can 2 go into, 4 go into, and 3 go into. What common multiple do they all share? So remember, if you're not sure, that you can always use from chapter 4, the LCM method. So 2 goes into 2 once, 2 goes into 4 twice, bring down the 3, and then make an L. And that tells us that our LCM is 12. So that is the number I'm going to multiply the whole equation by 12. Because 2 can go into 12, 4 can go into 12, and 3 can go into 12. So we're going to use mental math here. So 2, we're going to do multiplying 1 half by 12 and then 1 fourth by 12 and 2 thirds times 12 all in our head because 2 is going to go into 12 6 times and then we're going to multiply the numerator straight across 1 times 6 is 6x 4 goes into 12 3 times so 1 times 3 is 3 3 goes into 12 4 times so 2 times 4 is 8. No fractions are now in the equation. So if you're wondering, like, this is really confusing, I don't know what's going on, if we work it out on the side, let's see what's happening here when I do 12 times 1 half, why I'm putting that 6 there. So when we multiply with fractions, we can cross reduce. So the 2 goes into 2 once, and it goes into 12 6 times. So that's why we have 1 times 6. That is why we're doing this right here. And then when we do 1 fourth times 12, same thing. 4 goes into 4 once, and it goes into 12 3 times. So 1 times 3 is 3. That's where we get this from. Then 2 thirds times 4, oh whoops, times 12. 3 goes into 12, or 3 goes into 3 once, and it goes into 12 4 times. So 4 times 2 is 8. That's where the 8 came from. But we can do all of this stuff in our head because we picked 12, because we knew this number should go into it. So now we're going to solve an equation just like normal, just like in Chapter 3. We're going to highlight the variable. Get rid of the positive 3, make it 0 out. Then divide by 6. And we get x equals a positive divided by a positive is a positive. 6 can't go into 5. It doesn't say in the directions to leave it as a decimal, so we will leave it as 5 6. Okay, let's take a look at another problem here. So step one is to find the LCM of 8, 3, and 12. So we need to think of a number that 8, 3, and 12 can divide into. We want to find a common multiple. So if right now you're not sure, then make sure that you are using the L method. So 4 can go into 8 twice, 4 goes into 12 3 times, bring down the 3, and then we can pair the 3 up with this 3, bring down the 2, 3 goes into 3 once, 3 goes into 3 once, make our L, and the LCM is 24. So that is the number we're going to multiply the whole entire equation by. So, let's use some mental math here. 8 goes into 24 three times. 3 times 3 is 9. Bring down the x. 3 goes into 24 eight times. 
2 times 8 is 16. 12 goes into 24 twice, so 7 times 2 is 14. Now we have no fractions to deal with, so I'm going to highlight the variable, add 16 to both sides, and then 30 here. Now that this is all by itself, that is when we're allowed to divide. And 9 can't go evenly into 30, so we're going to just reduce it and get 10 thirds. Remember, you do not need to write it as a mixed number because if we plug it in for x, we can't multiply with mixed numbers. So it's not wrong to put 3 and 1 third, but it's pointless because your goal is to figure out what x is, and when you multiply with x, you can't multiply with mixed numbers. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at another example. So this time I only have two fractions, so I have two denominators. Five is not a denominator. There's a, like a one there. So I'm only focused on three and two. I need to think of a number that three can go into and two can go into. So if I use the L method, nothing can go into them, so I just multiply them. So the LCM is 6. So I'm going to multiply everything by 6. So I'm going to distribute to all three of these. So 3 goes into 6 2 times. 2 times 2 is 4x. 6 times 5 is 30. 2 goes into 6 3 times. Now we have no fractions, so I'm going to subtract 30. Divide by 4. A negative divided by a positive is a negative, and 4 can't go into 15. There's nothing divisible by both of them, so we get negative 15 fourths. 